Welcome to Module 2, Installing and Licensing Using GRW 2.21. At the end of this instruction, you're going to be able to install the components that make up the general report writer, and you'll be able to license the general report writer. Now, we won't have the opportunity to actually walk you through a full-on Windows installation or a full-on Linux installation or Unix installation, but I just want to make sure you understand what's involved with both the installation and with the licensing. When it comes time to do the installation, you have various options that you can follow. So the first is we now package Genero Studio with the complete Genero suite. So by installing Genero Studio, you're also installing BDL, you're also installing GDC, you're also installing the Genero Report Designer and the Genero Report Engine and the Genero Report Writer. Um, you can go ahead and install the entire suite. Or if you already have BDL installed and you already have GDC installed, for example, you can go in and you can just install the individual components. So I can install Genero Studio, and that will give me the Genero Report Designer. I can simply install the Genero Desktop Client for the Genero Report Viewer, and I can install the Genero Report Engine as a standalone object. Um, and as of 2.21, if all you're interested in is report design, you can simply install the Genero Report Designer. As far as installing GRW, you need to first download the appropriate bundle. If you're doing standalone, you're going to download the appropriate GRE bundle. If you're doing the entire suite, you'll download the appropriate Genero Studio bundle. And when you're doing this download, of course, you need to make sure that the package that you're downloading matches the OS and the hardware that you're installing on. You need to have a Java runtime engine. Uh, we require 1.5, although we recommend 1.6. And then you're going to follow the standard installation process for any of 4J's installations to where you kick off the script. And it's going to take you through and ask you a series of questions. And your answers or questions are going to help us do the configuration so that when the installation is done, it's properly configured for your system. The last step is you're going to want to modify your Genero BDL environment so that your GRE DUR environment variable is pointing to the installation. And then you need to add some things to various environment variables. So you're going to add GRE DUR slash lib to the FGL LD path. You're going to add GRE DUR slash SRC slash API to the FGL source path. You're going to add GRE DUR slash bin to the path variable. And then you want to make sure your programs are linked to the libgre.42x library when they're being compiled. The next bullet says that if you ever need to recompile the general report engine libraries, that there's a compilation script in GRE DUR slash SRC. I think that's true. I've just never come across any sort of situation where I would need to recompile those libraries. But I'm letting you know. Uh, and just warning, if you're using the same version of GRE against two or more different FGL versions, consider installing multiple copies of GRE. And also, if you want to customize the code in any of these libraries, please don't customize the GRE DIR slash SRC directly. You're going to want to copy that source, then compile and place the resulting 4.2ms higher up in the FGL LD path. So it's hit first before hitting our default uh, GRE libraries. So what about licensing? Do you need a license to use Genero Report Writer? Well, the answer is it depends. If you're using BDL with a valid maintenance key, then no further licensing is required. However, if you don't have a valid maintenance key, then you need to license your Genero Report Engine. And you'd contact your support, and you need to get a license number and a license key, just as you're familiar with with uh, BDL. As far as licensing the product, if you're on a Windows system, as I tend to be doing my training on, you can go from the start menu and find the licensor to add any licensing that you need. If you're working from the command line, if you to license the product, you need to do the GRE WRT-L, and this is going to prompt you for the license number and key, and it'll give you an installation number. Once you have that installation number, you can use the GRE WRT-K to register the product, and after the get the installation number, you have 30 days to provide that. To find out information about your license, you can do a GRE WRT-A info license. And then to drop an existing license, you can use the dash D option. Okay, this is just repeating the fact that if you have a valid BDL license, you don't need any sort of additional licensing for the GRW. And the thing you're going to be looking for 
is when you do a licensing, it'll say it's a GRE built-in license, and it's because the DVM license is under maintenance. If your maintenance becomes invalid at that time, you your this grant is going to expire, and you're going to need to purchase a license independently. But as long as your BDL license is under maintenance, then you're good to go, and you don't need to worry about any additional licensing for GRW. But again, if you ever need to license GRE separately, you're doing the same thing as you're probably used to doing with the FGLWRT. It's just instead you're doing it with a GREWRT. Likewise, when you had the FGL profile to set up the, the profile for a user on the BDL side, you could have a GRE profile to set up that profile for the user on the report writer side. If you're taking these series of training videos, I'm assuming that you're starting with at a minimum 2.20, if not 2.21 or 2.30. But when you're installing GRW, starting with 2.20, the report designer is included as part of the studio installation. So if you install studio, you're installing report designer. People then ask us for a standalone report designer, and that standalone report designer uh, was provided starting with the release of GRD or with the release of GRW 2.21. As far as the viewer, or as far as being the end user for your SVG files, we give you the Genero Report Viewer, which is included in the Genero Desktop Client. It's gonna use the GDC port plus one, so if the GDC is on port 6400, the Genero Report Viewer is gonna use port 6401. You're gonna to wanna to make sure a firewall is not blocking that port. And with the GDC, don't use 6400 live 6401 test, we need to be able to add one you would use 6400 live and 6402 test, et cetera. So again, the important things is when you install Genero Desktop Client with 2.20 and above, you're also getting Genero Report Viewer, and that Genero Report Viewer is gonna use the GDC port plus one. As we get into using the report writer, you're gonna find out that not only can you output things to SVG, which is gonna display in our report viewer, you might also output things as a PDF or you might output things as an image. If you're out putting them to PDF, then it's you're going to need to provide an application to view those PDFs. Uh, we're going to create the file with the .pdf extension, and so your application should provide a way for viewing it or for looking at these PDF files. Acrobat Reader is a fine way to do it, something that comes free. For image files, you're going to, again, uh, we were going to specify going out what the image extension should be. Each page is going to generate a single image file, you just need to provide a tool for them to view or work with those image files. Sometimes what is available on one machine is not available on another. And for example, we're going to talk a little bit about fonts and we're going to talk a little bit about what printers can be referenced. One of the issues that people were having was that they would be designing a report using their report designer. And then this report is being sent across to a general report engine to be produced, but Genero Report Engine didn't have access to the same fonts that was being used when they were on a separate machine using Report Designer. So what we've done is we've provided you two scripts. We have Font Info and Font Info PDF to help you analyze and make sure that your fonts that you want to use in Report Viewer or Report Writer are actually the same fonts that you're also finding across when it comes time to create the report on the Genero Report Engine. So Font Info is gonna list the fonts available on the server, Font Info PDF lists the fonts available on the server that can be included in PDF documents. We also have this concept of printer info. If I ask you to print out to printer X, is that backend server able to see printer X? So we give you this printer info that lists the printers available for direct printing. By using these three scripts that are found in the GReader slash bin, you're giving self the, yourself the ability to do the analyst beforehand and make sure that the fonts and printers that you're specifying in Report Designer are also going to be available when the report is actually being run and processed by the report engine. So what about documentation? Well, the Genero Report Writer documentation is a subset of the Genero Studio documentation. So if you've installed Studio, when you go to the Help menu, one of the manuals included is going to be Genero Report Writer. It can be downloaded or linked to directly from our support site. You also, when you're inside of Report Designer or Report Studio, you can press F1 in Genero Studio for contextual help. 
And this ends my discussion on the installation and licensing of Gennaro Court Writer. Remember to go to our support site, download the bundle that's appropriate for your system, and then the installation should be a guided installation taking you through the process. If you have any issues, please contact your local support center.